We're here with AM Commerce head football coach Colby Carthel as the Lions prepare for the conference opener against Eastern New Mexico. Let's look back at the William Jewell game, 59 to 6. What were some of the biggest positives you took from that game? Well, we came out and uh, clicked on in all three phases of the game, played really well. Uh, defensively, again, uh, held the shutout till the final six seconds, I guess, and, and that's good to see and some young guys playing. But offense came out firing on all cylinders, and special teams, again, was uh, really dominant, which is uh, good to see those guys playing well early. But it's just good to come out and get a, a, a solid win and, and uh, get to clear the bench and, and play a bunch of guys, and, and some of them getting their first reps as lines. So those reps will pay off uh, on down the road, 2000. 19, 20, and 20, 21, I guess. So uh, excited to see those uh, young guys get some get some good reps there late. How do you feel the offense rebounded from a, not, maybe not shaky, but definitely improved from the UNA game? You bet. You know, a lot of that has to do with who you're playing. You know, North Alabama is, is really, really tough, and I think we'll give a lot of opposing offensive uh, Team some uh, some tough tough times. They're they're really good defense and and uh, they did a great job against us. But you know you, the good teams do make improvements, especially between week one and week two. And I think our offense did that. We've got a lot of new skill guys playing, new tailbacks. Got a couple freshman tailbacks and a bunch of uh, new receivers. So it's it takes time to get the timing right and get the get the quarterback to jail with those guys. And so I think they're going to continue to get stronger as the year goes on and, and they get a little more chemistry between them. Eastern New Mexico for the conference opener. The defense has been averaging only six and a half points a game conceded. How do you see the defense performing against that triple option offense? Uh, you know, that's that's the uh, million dollar question. And, and uh, Eastern New Mexico is really tough. And, and they're, they're good players, they're good coaches. Coach uh, Lee's got a really uh, good good staff put together and they're, they're playing well. You know, we, uh, we picked them second in the preseason polls this summer. And, and I think they're living up to that so far. Had a big win over uh, Southwest Baptist, a playoff team, ranked higher than us in the regional rankings there last year. So they're, uh, they're going to be a force to reckon with in all three phases. But, you know, offensively, you know, with Kamal Cass, a preseason co-player of the year, is, is a tremendous player, great kid. Uh, and then, you know, White Strands, a freshman of the year last year, and he's back. And, you know, we caught them early last year, and they're, they're seasoned vets now. So we're going to have our hands full uh, defensively to, uh, you know, just slow those guys down, try to limit the damage. They're coming off a big uh, shootout win over Western New Mexico. It was a field goal game, tons of points. What did you see out of them on defense? You know, defensively, they, they uh, Coach Cordova, he's doing a great job with them. They're, they're flying all around and, and uh, creating turnovers and, and playing really hard. And that was a, a wild game out there in Silver City. It always is with those, you know, that's an in-state rivalry game for those guys. So you throw the records out the window. And, and uh, But they did something that's hard to do, and that's going a long road trip like that in a hostile environment and, and pull out a, a wild and crazy win because Western New Mexico was throwing everything in the kitchen sink at them. So, you know, it, it just uh, – Proves what kind of team they've got over there in Portales, and, and the Greyhounds are going to come in, and, and they're, they're a good football team, some good players, good coaches, so we've got a work cut out for us to be successful Saturday night. Back to the Lions, special teams, little baby Kristoff. Kristoff Martinez moved up to fifth in the all-time court. Scoring records, 11 points the other night. He's outscored what defenses have scored against the Lions. Talk about special teams some. You know, that guy is, is uh, really special. He's, uh, you know, really been working hard, put on the way. He's up to 138 pounds. So uh, really proud of baby Kristoff. And he's uh, he's fun. 4.0 student. You know, he's kind of a cult hero on campus and, and uh, you know, a team favorite. So it's great to see him have the success that he's had. And he'll continue to climb uh, the depth, the uh, record books and, and will be all-time leading scorer in a lot of different categories, you know, probably on the conference level as well when he's said, all said and done here. But, you know, it's not just a one-man show. The punters have done a great job. Our, our, all our guys playing special teams. We we play our best players on special teams. You look up at our kickoff and we got, you know, three starting linebackers and starting wide receivers and everybody running down there. And, you know, there's a commitment to being good on special teams here and, and those guys buy into that. and They're playing very, very well and it's going to help us on down the line. Huge crowd against William Jewell, over 10,000 stadium record. Uh, looking for the conference opener. Uh, what's the message to the fans to keep that momentum? Well, it was a tremendous turnout and really appreciate everybody coming and a lot of first time fans out here with Community University Day. And I think they saw a good football team playing and, and so hopefully they'll come back. It'll be a much more uh, competitive uh, games go, uh, here on out, you know, and, and especially this Saturday. So uh, it'll be some great LSC football being played and really exciting, probably right down to the wire. So I hope they'll come back and, and continue to support the Lions because we need them. Looking ahead at the uh, conference, uh, big conference games for the rest of the year. How excited are the guys to get into that competitive schedule? Well, it's it's fun. You know, this this starts the real season, and and uh, you know we get to go out there and hopefully take our 
first step forward in terms of uh, securing a fourth straight conference title. And, you know, we know, you know, we're going to get everybody's best game, not just because where we're ranked in the country, but, you know, being the back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back conference champions, everybody's gunning for you. You're going to get everybody's best game, whether it's here or at their place. And so, we've, you know, it's good for us. And, and uh, you got you got to prepare every week and be ready because there's a lot of parity in this league. There's a lot of really good football players and a lot of really good coaching staff. So uh, anybody can knock anybody off on any given Saturday. So uh, Lions got to be, be on their A game uh, every time they take the field.